everybody it's your boy Charles Young also known as Open Thoughts hey follow me like share this video man if you feel this content is helpful man share it um, so let me get into something man that I think is very important man as as I was going through my own personal um, experiences and, and uh, uh, trauma of being successful or achieving something in life man and a lot of people don't realize is that man those are all things created in order for you to feel accepted by society and the truth really is is that uh, the ultimate scale of thing is is for you just to be you know we're called human beings you know what I'm saying we're people to be something we have to be something a lot of people don't realize that it's very important in it uh, for us to be something because we also influence the next individual or generation under us to be that what we are or where we're at at that particular time man if you're a drug dealer if you're a drug you selling drugs or you know what I'm saying you're a person that's a murderer man there are children that are underneath you watching that so they're watching that and a lot of people know that man a lot of people don't want to take that responsibility and actually believe that but that's the truth um with that being said is you also can be a person who's doing nothing in your life doing nothing not being that's not human that's 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 not a part of your cycle see a lot of the time man um i, I look at I look at it I look at it like this way man I've tried so much I've tried so much and let me speak on myself and my own personal being I've done so much man and, and sometimes man I even look at my own personal life and say like man have I done anything like I have I done anything and man a flurry of information comes to me about my past life that I was doing something did I achieve it to the height that society feels that I am successful at it no no and I can say that but am I in the process of always being what I'm supposed to be yes exactly man you know it's a stepping stone man I've, I've talked to so many individuals that most people would think they're successful because they ran a long journey in the process that they're in and they'll say, they'll tell you man I'm just getting started I'm just figuring stuff out and what and what you don't understand is man with that happening with that particular uh, um, perspective of it's either I'm successful or I'm not well my question is this what is successful what is success you know what I'm saying um, I was listening to this album man and it was Master P on it. it was that seat at the table that the Solange album man and Master P said man you got to do stuff that that um, that'll help you sleep at night um, and I'm thinking to myself like man I, I'm looking at my own life man and um, looking at this uh, millionaire complex that a lot of people have and you know to be a millionaire is not necessarily that should always be the goal for everybody's life man it should be you encourage and influence the next generation of individuals and people to be happy and successful in whatever endeavor that they take you know what I'm saying we we get so wrapped up into this one concept all of us want to be a millionaire nobody want to do the work but all of us want to be a millionaire you know and sometimes it's not for us to be a millionaire hell it's not even for our lineage to be a millionaire but we might be the most wealthiest positive people in the world and a lot of people don't see that as a value but at the end of the day man if you go if you go look at some of these celebrities and stars they killing themselves and they got millions of dollars millions of millions and millions of dollars got the opportunities that you feel that they want but they guess what they just all they really want is to be you they just want to be able to sit back relax chill no one know who they are no cameras in their face and just have a sense of happiness have an idea that they can be happy without doing all this work but no they're just working to maintain and trying to be a millionaire man all you're doing is trying to maintain it that's it you're all your work you're working to maintain it a lot of people get all this big houses been fancy cars and stuff and all you're doing is you're working your ass off to maintain you're not working for happiness and we get that confused we think that having all this stuff is going to make us happy it's going to make us happy it's supposed to make sense it's not going to make you happy because when you when you've been working so hard for your house for the car for those nice uh rims and then in 10 seconds something could break out and where you lose it all it's worthless 
It means nothing. It depreciates. I was told this, man, when I was very young, man, about nice shoes, and it changed my whole perspective, man. My mom, she was telling me that. She's like, people don't understand, man. They spend so much money on all this material stuff, but once you buy it and purchase it and put them damn shoes on the floor, it depreciates in value. And I'm like, depreciates in value? What does that mean? It, it, it's, it's, it's not value. It's not even an asset. It's, it's worthless now. So now you just spent $120 on some shoes and you put them on the ground and now they're worth $0. It, you know, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? What does this value mean now? It means nothing. Now you put it on because you're trying to impress individuals who really necessarily don't really care about you. At the end of the day, man, somebody says, oh, they like your shoes, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna buy them. And some people might even be like, man, I like your shoes so much, I'm a jackie for them. And, and then you, you lost out again. See, the whole thing about your life is about being. You have to be, you just have to be, that's it. You, don't, you, you just have to be, you have to live experience. I say this a lot. There's no such thing as a positive and negative ex experience. It's just the experience and the information and knowledge you take from that experience. You know, you could say this is negative, but it may not be. It may actually help you. I've been through situations, especially doing video, man, where there was a situation, man, that could have, I felt that could have ruined me. But then when I went into a different uh, field or a different place, it changed it changed that 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 opinion that I once had about that particular situation was actually positive over here it was actually a great thing over here so here's what I'm saying man is that you are a being and all you are supposed to be is 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 to all you are to do is to be I mean I've done a lot of stuff in my life I've done I've done a lot of stuff a lot more than anybody else has I've tried uh, fashion design uh, comedy, stand up on all different types of fields, uh, motivational speaking, poetry, art. I've done all that. But you know what? You know why that's satisfying? It's because I know one day that I'll have a child and they'll see that. And maybe that might encourage them to be higher than what they are. I'm not a person who, who values so much materialistic things. Of course, we all want some stuff. Of course, we all want money. Money, you know what I'm saying? In this, in this planet, in this system, that we live in, money is a valuable thing. Money is everything here, here. But in, but the truth is, man, if there was an earthquake tomorrow, man, you had a billion dollars locked in in the safe underneath the ground, and that shit collapsed. Guess what? It's over. You got to start from ground zero, so it means nothing again. So what do you do? You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a materialistic thing, and a lot of people say, man, you don't know what you're talking about because you possibly may not have that. But yeah, but I'm glad in some cases, man, I'm glad I don't have those things because maybe I wouldn't be making these videos. See, what you got to understand is that, man, the positions that we're put in are for reasons. You know what I'm saying? A winner, you know that people who win and 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 never lose are uh, devastated once they lose. Devastated. But you know people who lose, who lose, who lose, who lose, who lose and finally win are like, Okay, this is how it feels. Oh, I'm man, but I've already been through all these problems, so I'm cool. So life gives us these things. The position that you're in right now may have may seem negative, but look around you. Look around you. Look where you're at. If you live in a house, if you have home, if you have food, shelter, you have somebody to, that loves you, if you have something of value, if you have your life, if you have your human being, that's all you need. That's all you need. All the other things that you want will come to you. You just have to change the way that you're thinking. You have to change the way that you're perceiving life in its, in its entirety, man. So, I mean, that's all I want to say, man. Uh, be the being that you're supposed to be. Be the being that you are. And just be. That's it. Just be. All right, man. So, if you like this content, man, hit me up, man. If you disagree, man, leave it in the comment section, man. Let's talk. Let's, let's do something. All right. Hey man, my name is Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts, man. Like, share, and, and follow, and do all those things. Be, be something to help me. <laughs> so, I thank you guys. Peace.